welcome to the Southern Steps, also called the Southern Stairs or the Rabbi's Stairs. This is the possible site of a major New Testament event, which I will discuss at the end of this video. So where are we located? Here we are at the southern wall of the Temple Mount. Around us is the Western Wall, the Eastern Gate, the Kidron Valley, and the Mount of Olives, all of which I have done reviews on, and you can find the links in the description below. Looking south from these steps, you will see the city of David, which was Biblical Jerusalem. The southern steps and Robinson's Arch were the busiest entrances for the residents of Jerusalem and the pilgrims that made their way up to the temple, especially during the three pilgrimage feasts. Pesach, which was Passover, or the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Shavuot, which was the Feast of Weeks. And Sukkot, the Feast of Shelters, or the Feast of Tabernacles. The gates they would enter at the southern wall were called the Hulda Gates. The double gate was called the Western Hulda Gate, and the triple gate was known as the Eastern Hulda Gate. Like the Eastern Gate on the eastern side of the Temple Mount, these gates were sealed up during the Middle Ages. Now, if you watched my previous review, I mistakenly referred to the Pool of Siloam as a mitzvah, when I should have said mikvah, which is where people would purify themselves before walking up to the temple. There were also a few dozen mikvahs here, right below the southern steps, which we will come back to shortly. So besides these being steps to walk up to the temple, it was also a place that rabbis would sit and teach their followers. These steps here are refurbished, but these here are the original steps that were used during the time of Jesus. So this is just another amazing site where Jesus would have walked and at times sat and taught his disciples. Another famous Bible character, the Apostle Paul, most likely walked, sat, and was taught on these steps. Paul said in Acts 22.3, I am a Jew born of Tarsus of Cilicia, but brought up in this city. I studied under Gamaliel and was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. I was just as zealous for God as any of you are today. Acts 5.34 states that Gamaliel was a Pharisee and a teacher of the law. So what possible huge New Testament event took place here in this area? Well, in Acts chapter 2, we see the Holy Spirit arrive in what we call Pentecost. This would have been happening during the Jewish Feast of Shavuot. Then in Acts chapter 2, verses 14 through 39, we see Peter giving his first public message. And then in verse 41, it says, Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. Some believe Pentecost took place here at the Royal Stoa on the south side of the Temple Mount. So it's possible with the large crowds already in town that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit could have happened here or at least spilled over to the southern steps. And the 3,000 that accepted Jesus as Savior, they could have easily been baptized at the many mikvahs located at the bottom of the southern steps. How cool is that? So this will conclude my very short review of the southern steps. And for my next and last scheduled review, I will take you to the Temple Mount. I will take my time with this video, and it possibly could end up being a two-parter, as there is so much to discuss at this site, both historically and prophetically. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, God bless.